Hi, I'm uh, Scott Chamberlain from our open side. This is a quick introduction to the TaxiViewer app that we created for the USGS uh, app competition. Uh, this app is a web interface to a mashup of data from the Integrated Taxonomic Information Database, Phylotastic Taxonomic Name Resolution Service, uh, Global Invasive Species Database, uh, Phylomatic, and the Global Biodiversity Information Facility. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, the input to the app is in the upper left here, uh, where we just put in a uh, comma-separated comma string of taxonomic uh, species names. And you'll note that there's no space between the commas. Um, and um, the um, let's re let's uh, refresh this real quick. So there's no uh, space between the uh, commas, but there is between uh, genus and epithet. Um, so that's the main input for the app. Um, and note that you, uh, um, we have a couple of examples here, so if you click uh, below that box, it brings up a, a GitHub gist, and you can and select some of your examples. Um, so, so uh, once we have a string of species names, we, we look at the first tab, which is name resolution uh, service using Phylotastic TNRS API. And that um, has a column for the submitted name and accepted name, and then um, sort of the, the name that was actually matched against. And then here we're using, as a source, we're using the NCBI taxonomic database. And, uh, and so this is really interesting because in real time you can uh, edit the species name. So let's say you've typed it in slightly wrong, and if it doesn't, it doesn't match, it's not going to return anything. So once we have our, our matches there, we can go to get some ITIS data, and in the first tab here we have immediate parents of our submitted taxa. So here we have the taxon name, which is our submitted taxa, and it's matched to uh, taxonomy serial number. And then we have its immediate parent, which is, those are all species that we submitted, so these are genera. Uh, and then we have the, the uh, parents' uh, taxonomic serial number, and, uh, and here's actually the rank name of the taxa we submitted. Uh, next, we can get the uh, upstream taxonomic classification. So, so uh, above this, the taxa we submitted, which were species, we can get the, the genera, and families, and class, and uh, kingdoms. And then in the next tab, we can query the global invasive species database to see if our species are listed as invasive. And it looks like two of them are. So, Agaritina, Copragotus. Uh, listed as invasive, whereas root and rhine is sufficient analysis is not. Um, and obviously you probably want to dig in deeper to that and you can uh, either go to the Global Invasive Species Database website, um, which is listed um, uh, down here, um, or you can download, uh, it's actually, that functionality is actually in a, a tax size package here, uh, which you can download and use. In, uh, and then uh, connected to the invasive species um, results are uh, phylogenetic uh, information. So we can go to the Phylomatic API on this tab, and we've gotten, we've retrieved a phylogeny, which was pruned from a, sort of a super species tree of, of plants, and then we've mapped onto this phylogeny whether they were invasive or not. So we just, so this is a trait, let's say, for this for these species, and all this phylogeny we've mapped that trait. So these two species were invasive, and, and this one was not. Um, and you'll note that um, since we're using Phylomatic uh, API as the backend for this, you, you can really do uh, get uh, phylogeny for plants right now. And last, we can uh, go to the Global Biodiversity Information Facility API, and we can get some occurrence records for our species. So we've got three species. So in our legend here, we have three um, different colored symbols with the species names. And on the map, those uh, occurrences are uh, across are plotted on the, on, the, on the globe. So that's that's about it. Um, all of this functionality is available in two uh, packages for the R programming environment uh, called TaxSize and RGBIF, so here and here. And uh, um, yeah, if, uh, and we have some other metadata down here so you can find out more about this data and, and uh, about the packages. And if you have any bugs, please do email us. Uh, we have an email listed down here. Uh, thanks very much.